hi guys this is the advisor and welcome back to my channel guys you know that I don't do gossip videos nevertheless this is one of those videos where I have to look at somebody's life and cry out for help on behalf of this person this person's life is going it's spiraling further and further and further downhill and I just can't see where this is going to stop and I am really concerned about my black sister for those of you who have been following Amari over the years you would know say at one time she did look like somebody now I don't know if any of you have heard of the accident the motor vehicle accident and injury that she actually staged in the United States quite recently because she was seeking attention from a man that she was dating or trying to date and the man wasn't interested or he was in her life but decided to move on for whatever reason of course I would say a thousand reasons why I would have wanted to move on but <laughs> that's not me not getting get in my head but she told the man that if him leave her she was going to drive fast in her car and crash the car and kill herself and then she go stage a crash stage a car accident and make all emergency um, services come out ambulance put her in a neck brace and all kind of something and after that she go in a supermarket with a bag of money in her purse and go try to do shoplifting don't you see that a person was crying out for help she wasn't get she didn't get arrested for the shoplifting because after them find her she take out her bag of money and chop on them and say listen me have money so or you can't take pay feet. This lady is crying out for help. First of all, let us look at the incident with the staging of the um, car crash scene. As you can see, there is no crash scene. You see two cars parked quite nicely. She laying down on the sidewalk. Emergency people surround her. And they took her on, on a stretcher to the hospital. Only to find out, say, no, never do her. Now, isn't it clear that this individual has lost control of her faculties? Isn't there anybody who can help a Marie? Or as she call herself, Mona Lisa? Well, at one stage, I had she and Queenie in the same category. But I think she really um a bit over Queenie. Look how no man chamba chamba up herself. Look how she favors Scarecrow. No, no, no matter how you like her, you know, you have to just face reality, you know. Come on, people. We have to just call a spade a spade. Now, today I'm going to put on my counselor cap. I am not a trained counselor, I'm not a qualified counselor, but having lived so many years, I think I know enough where I can give advice that can be taken seriously. And people, you see what I'm about to say now can make you see life in a totally and completely different way. It can benefit you tremendously by just listening to me now. Because what I'm about to say can affect your life in a positive way going forward. So I urge you please to stay on this video a little longer. The people you mingle with, the people you mingle with can have a lot to do with how your future turns out. Not only that, it has a lot to do with who you really, really are. Now, I want you guys to take a look at these photos. Now, this was Amari Mona Lisa before she met Golibap. 
Look how she look fluffy and nice. Look how the girl look her collarbone. Them you don't know she she have collarbone. You don't know if she have bone because it look like a pure flesh and gristle. Panar. Yes, she's one of those. She have the body when me like boneless woman. Just flesh and gristle, no bone. And look at her today. Scarecrow oneself. But what could have caused that? Tell me. Uh, uh, no, we have to ask the question. Where did she go wrong? Now, this is where I come back to what I said. Be careful of who you mingle with. Because who you mingle with can affect everything about your very constitution. Physical, mental, spiritual, emotional constitution. Change it totally. And when I use the word mingle, I use mingle in the sense of sharing body fluids. Or, to be more blunt, having sexual intercourse. Believe me, you know, as human beings, you know, I know any anybody with a make, with a share body fluids with, you know. Male or female, this applies to. But more so she than him. And when I say more so her than him, I don't mean that I am picking on her specifically. But I'm just looking at the biology. You see, when a man dumps his semen inside your body, inside a woman's body, the man's semen contains a chemical called prostaglandin. The prostaglandin, once it touches the most permeable part inside the woman's body, which is her cervix, it actually penetrates and enters the woman's bloodstream, enters her body. Now, the plus prostaglandin, that chemical, it contains the man's DNA. Once it enters her cervix, it remains there and fuses with her DNA and end up staying with her for life. Ladies, put it bluntly, every man that you have ever been with in your life, in DNA still in your body. You can never escape from that. So we can say, you can never unscrew a man that you have screwed. And what another thing we need to remember, you know. Sexual intercourse is not just a physical act. It is a physical, spiritual, mental, sociological, and psychological act all rolled into one. By sharing body fluids, you are also sharing your spirit, you are sharing your soul. Now, why did I say all that? I said that to say this. Amari got take up Golibap. Her life started spinning out of control from she take up Golibap. Don't get me wrong, you know. Amari was a flow character from morning. She never have nothing good in her mouth for talk. She, 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 she had yaga yaga long time. It's just that her yaga yaga did not show in her physical body. In her brain, she did just bite low. She was of low character in mind. But at least it didn't show out, outwardly, physically. If you look at her, you would pass her every day on the street and she would look normal until she opened her mouth. Then you realize, say, I know nobody. But nevertheless, she went and she mixed with somebody who was lower than her. And this is where some people are going to look for me now, you know, and say, People are just people and we mustn't discriminate against people because oh, we're, we're, we are all one. We are, every human being are just one and there's no difference between us because everybody are human and nobody, nobody no better than nobody. And for one who said that, I'm going to make Kevin answer to that. Respond to that there, Kevin. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? Because if you think that way, then it means that a rapist, a murderer, 
a drug addict, a deadbeat father, a robber, a thief, a con man, is the same as equal to me, the advisor, who is none of those things. Because as far as you're concerned, nobody no better than nobody. So you would have rate me and him as equally as moral, right? Because nobody no better than nobody. But find anybody who thinks that way is decadent, morally bankrupt. Totally decadent. Such a person has absolutely no standard. Then we take up anything. Any woman who think that way. All she want to know is that is a man, him look like a man, he wear a pants and him have a D-I-C-K and she is fine. Everybody equal. The gunman and the pastor are the same thing. Nobody no better than nobody. I think, I personally think, that one of the things that threw Amari over the edge was by biting so low. And people must ask, what wrong with Gullibab? Well, tell you the truth, I'm not going to go into what's wrong with Gullibab. Because if anybody don't know what's wrong with Gullibab, then uh, as a partner, I can't help you. You are far beyond the reach of reason. And when I say what's wrong with Gullibap, you know, I'm not talking about Gullibap's looks. Because me no look too different from Gullibap myself. So it's not the looks I'm talking about. I'm talking about character. Character. Things like self-respect, manners, pride, dignity, ambition, care for children, avoiding drugs, avoiding bad company, so on, so on, so forth. That's what I'm talking about. Gullibap, to the best of what I have known about him, had nothing that would make him stand out as an upstanding human being. And at that, Amari go pick up. Which says a lot about Amari too. Because we know the saying about birds of a feather. And if you can bite so low, then you never have no standards to begin with. You are never nobody. Because you had no idea about the attributes or characteristics that you should look for in somebody to uplift you. Because let me tell you know one thing about life. A man must take charge of his relationship. The man must lead the family. The man is the head of the household, head of the relationship, all the time, every time, hands down. Well, in theory and in the normal flow of nature, that's how it is. Unless, of course, it's a weak jellyback man. And since nature abhors the vacuum, then the woman will have to put on the pants and step up. But I said that to say this. No woman should be with a man who cannot lead her. Take charge of the union and make good decisions on behalf of the union. Now, Amari was the brighter one. And if she is the brighter one, naturally, Golibab can't lead she. Because she know more than him. She was more socially adaptable, socially aware. And her social skills, even though poor and gutter, down at the gutter, she seemed to have it more put together than him. A woman should always look for a man who is more intelligent than herself to go in a relationship with. Because you can expect that just on the virtue of being a man, your leadership is automatic not really because you will lead the woman to a very bad place if you do not know more than her so for your woman to look up to you you need to have to know more than her and when i say no more than her you know i don't mean you have to have no degree or be, have a better ed education or have more qualifications than her what you have to be is more socially aware and be just totally better at making decisions and have enough ability to rationalize and think things through 
in a more logical way than her. No woman should ever be with a man who is less intelligent than herself. And Amari did that. Why Amari did that? Because as far as Amari is concerned, in my opinion, Amari had no standard. Once it have a pants and have a D-E-E-K, it is good enough for me to share body fluids with. And somehow, I think that sharing of spirit and soul that she shared with that gentleman is what helped push her into this downward spiral after, even after it ended. So I say again, ladies, please be very, very careful who you share body fluids with. Because sometimes somebody DNA just get in your system and take control of you, your mind, body, and soul. And you can't come to nothing and you wonder why. You mingle with too much, somebody lower than yourself. And this happens when you don't have no standard. Men are somewhat different. I need to say this quickly. Men are somewhat different. Because the man, even though it can affect him to some degree, it affects the woman to maybe 50% more. Based on the fact that she don't let off nothing inside of him. When he finish with that act, he can just walk away, all he do, have a shower, and basically, he is good again. There is no DNA remains on him to take anywhere for the rest of his life. The woman, on the other hand, she... I'm going to use this word, and I use this word loosely, fine, want of a better word. I'm going to use the word receptacle. So she is a receptacle for his body fluids. He is not a receptacle for hers. So he can come out far more unscathed from any relationship or any amount of sexual encounter that he ever has. And that's not my opinion. That's just the biology. That's just the biology. Anyway, finally, I just need to say, I hope somebody, I hope there may be some law, some law in the United States that can let the government just take Amari off of the street, put her in a straight jacket, gag her, carry her away, inject her, electric shock, send her for plat straw, do anything. Because she's a danger to herself. And I don't want her to get any worse. Because when she was in her right sense, she never did two up there. And now that she no, they nowhere near her right sense. She needs help. She needs help. And I'm just hoping that somehow, even some family member, have her institutionalized. Please, some family member, take charge and have her institutionalized now. How not so evil? How not so wicked? The left her fear disgrace. Everybody pan face of the earth. So disgrace herself, humiliate herself in front of the world. Have that continuing, only for the better than that man. Anyway, guys, thanks for visiting my channel. Like, share, leave a comment below, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.